Hey everybody, I am Luke Friesen, and this is the third video in the series of um, breaking down Warhammer 40k basic rules mathematically. Okay, um, I'm going to keep going on this, and I'm going to talk about the uh, the next thing you're going to do in the game of Warhammer 40k after uh, trying to hit somebody and seeing how how much that damage does is then getting into charges and assaults and trying to see if you can hit them in close combat. Um, I found charging and assaults to be very overwhelming when, when I was first learning the game because there are a lot of phases and it is very complex. And I think the most complex part of that is uh, using a table to see if you can roll to hit. Let's take a look at that table here. Okay. This is how it looks like, by the way. I am using the third edition book because I think this is a good, good example of the fact that none of these core rules that I've been talking about that, uh, that have been listed so far have had any changes in them whatsoever since third edition. And if they go into an eighth edition and make changes to them, I will be very, very, very surprised because this has just been such a tradition. But uh, if they were to change one thing in all of this that I've talked about so far and any of these core rules, it would I would I would be okay with them changing the to hit um, in close combat in assaults, um, and I'll explain that more in a bit. So here is the chart. As we can see, we've got our weapons weapon skill versus their weapon skill, and we've got a lot of threes. We've got a band of fours down the middle, and then a whole bunch of fives. There's only three different numbers on this chart. That's actually a very simple chart threes, fours, and fives. Um, the formula is not simple because uh, I did not really, uh, when I wrote this one out, it got very long, had a lot of if statements in it. And uh, I, I'm not going to bother showing it to you because it's just overly complex. And so what I am going to show you instead is this. The way that the to hit chart works is like this. There are no ones and twos on it because ones and twos are automatic misses. It's kind of like the to wound chart, except even more severe. You roll a one and a two, you miss. If you roll a three, you take your weapon skill and you go minus one, and that is what you can, th th that is then the weapon skill that you can beat. So let's say I have a weapon skill of four, because I'm not bad, I'm my little Eldar guy in combat, and I have a four, I roll a three, four minus three, sorry, sorry, I roll a three, and that means minus one, four minus one is three, and so therefore I can beat a toughness of three. Not gonna be very good against an orc or something. And so uh, uh, if I have a weapon skill of four and I roll a three on my dice, I, I can then beat a, uh, did I just say six or four? If I have a weapon skill of six and I roll a, roll a three in my dice, minus one is five, I can beat a weapon skill of five or higher or, or lower with a, a roll of three on a weapon skill of six. I'm getting tired, I can tell. Okay, um, and four does a huge jump. Normally, in Warhammer, in, in, in Games Workshop style games, um, four or higher is the 50% percentile, 50 percentile or higher of, the, of a D6. And so usually a four means that whatever your stat is can beat a stat of the same value or less. However, in this, in this particular formula, in this particular table, it jumps, skyrockets. It's weapon skill times two. If I'm using a weapon skill of four and I roll a four, that means I am now beating a weapon skill of eight or lower. Eight is a huge jump from three. You get me? You get me? Jumps huge, jumps huge. And then a five or a six is just right out, right out of the park. You automatically hit on a five or a six. That's just how this guy goes. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I am weapon skill of four. I roll a four, goes all the way up to eight. If I'm at like weapon skill five, I am suddenly able to beat anything on a four plus because there is nothing that higher than 10. Or if there is, then it would be a six because six times two is 12 and uh, there's probably nothing higher than 12. Anyway, um, weapon skill of two even. If I have a two and I roll a four or higher, I am still beating a four. 
That's double what I've got. That's, that's a huge jump. That's a big deal. Big deal. Now, when I tried to think about um, how I would change this up, how I would change weapon skill, the stat, to try to manipulate it somehow like I did with the uh, uh, toughness or like I did with the ballistic skill and the scatter roll um, to make it easier to learn, easier to play, I really couldn't come up with anything. I got nothing, guys. If you got something, go ahead, post it in the comments. Let me know. But um, I think this would be easier to learn than a chart. So I, could, I can totally see myself taking a little um, uh, reference page or a little uh, adding this to a little reference cheat sheet to, to help me to remember. Because really, what I really need to remember is that a three is the, the weapon skill minus one, and a four is a weapon skill times two. Five or six automatic hit, one or two automatic miss. Those are super easy to remember. It's basically this little chunk of information right there that I really gotta learn for this game. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, I hope you uh, can post some comments to let me know if you have any uh, erudite thoughts, um, some, some challenges to the way I'm doing my math or the way I'm looking at the rules. I know I've made some slight mistakes uh, in words that I've uh, stated in the previous videos, which I will try to put in the comments so that there is no confusion on those. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this has gone. And uh, hope that uh, that uh, you are as well. Bye.